Hi everybody, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. As you can see, we are not Jim. I'm Abby. And I'm Trudy. We're Jim's daughters and our parents have an anniversary coming up so they have decided to go away for the night and it's also mom's birthday tomorrow. Yes. So, um, dad asked if we would feed the horses while they were gone so we wanted to show you um, dad's daily feeding routine. So the horses are all outside and we are going to prepare their stalls for them to come in and eat dinner tonight. Um, and we're going to give them all some hay. Check how much they have in, in their stalls. Manger, manger beds. In manger areas. And they probably have all different amounts. So we're just gonna check and make sure that they have enough. Yeah, just like a couple flakes. Cause they're gonna, they're gonna come in and eat and then they're gonna go back after the night. So they don't need that much in here. Um, so we're going to give them some hay and then we're going to grain them as well. So, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. Okay. These do have quite a bit, so I'm just like throwing in one flake. I'm going to check the other two. Bill, lady. Yeah, they have quite a bit. I'll just. <laughs> All right, let me check the colts. Well, Trudy, they don't have much. They have little mangers. Little mangers for little horses. Absolutely. I'll just give them like one flake each. And like we said, they're going back outside anyway, so. Okay, so now we're going to grain them. Oh, dad told me there was a rat. Yikes. I'd rather not see it. So I have a buck of oats. And we're going to give each colt um, a half scoop and each big horse a scoop. And yesterday. And yesterday. Frost last night. Well, I don't know if we had frost. There was a frost warning. I hope not. We had to take all our hanging baskets in and everything. Wow. Just perfect. Perfect. So now that everyone is hayed and grained, we're going to bring them in. They're all outside in different areas. So we're going to take them in one team at a time. So the Pertrons are in the barnyard showing here. Hey. So we're going to bring them in first. Hey. Okay, so most importantly, we need to make sure that the door is closed so that ooh, they don't run straight through. Prudent. Okay. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> I really have like allergy issues. Hey. And in case you guys were wondering if they're really 
big? The answer is actually yes. <laughs> Good one. Good one. They're big. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hit hook them up. As you can see, they do not have their halters on and we're going to make sure when we put them back out after they eat that they also do not have their halters on. So we're just putting them on real quick while they're eating. I'm gonna do a one-hander. Oh. Got it. Okay, I almost, I almost had it with one hand, but. There we go. Okay. I kept the door open because, as you can see, the next place where the horses are is way out there across that gate. And there are the colts, but we'll bring them in last. How are you doing today, Earl? You can see the new wall. Yes, the new wall. Working on it, it's looking good. There's Lady and Bill. Come on, Lady! Come on, Bill! They're coming. William? Hi. He stopped to say hi. Hurry it up a little. Don't look at me, I'm just um Instagramming it. Yeah. She's beautiful. She is. Getting some water. She's like, remember the good old days when there weren't cameras constantly stuck in our faces? She's got her summer coat now. Do Trudy's one armed. Lady. Oh, look at that. So now we're just going to give them a little time to eat and then we'll kick them back out for the right, night. So it looks like they're done with their grain. So we're going to kick them back out, of course, making sure that their halters are not on. Two of the pastures out there where the horses are going already have some, like a whole bunch of grass for them to eat. So let's put some hay into this barnyard because the two horses that will be in the barnyard will need some hay overnight. Did he say how much? A couple flakes. No, he said a half bale. Cool. It was a couple flakes in the stall. All right. Um, well, that was like not that much less than. All right, they're getting a lot tonight. Well, they deserve it. All right, so yeah. Let's do this thing. It's really hard. Okay. I need a little grease. Who, the blacks were in the barnyard, right? Yes. yes. So we're gonna put them in the far out, far out dude. Um, barnyard. Did we, you know what we need to do is close that gate. 
The gate to where the cults were, yeah. We're kind of in a super hurry because we have two friends who are doing a benefit tonight. They're doing a paint and sip because they're going to Uganda. So it's like 5.45 right now. Really and we need to be there at 6.30. But 6 maybe we can make it up to them. Because they're going to Uganda on a missions trip and we can put the links to their um Oh yeah, they're, they're fun. Do they have a GoFundMe? Fund, uh, it's not a GoFundMe, but it's like a GoFundMe fundraiser thing. Um, so I'll put the links in the description if you want to um, help them with this. Yeah. They're going to help in an orphanage, I believe. I, d I think they're doing some medical stuff. Yes, they're She's both a medical. They're both medical type people, so. Personnel, so. Yeah, Yeah, that's what if you doing. want to help with that, then I'll put the links below. Perfect. Make up for being super late. We're, if we're late, we won't know how to paint the picture. Absolutely, we, we can't be we late. We won't know how to paint the picture either way. So, we're gonna let the blacks go in the backyard. I'll get the other halter. Excuse me. Coming in. We actually didn't end up being late. Here's a picture of us with our two friends and our paintings. Goodness. They don't want that hay. They want to go out in the... They've got the better deal. But whoever gets to go outside to the far barnyard tonight, whoever, whoever stays here gets to go out tomorrow. So they're going to switch. So we'll close this gate. The halters are already on, for one. Do you think that we need lead ropes? I mean, showing what just happened. Right? So let's get lead ropes. Okay, yeah, let's just be safe and get lead ropes. 552. It's 552. Holy guacamole, we're late. We've got to be leaving our house. You think that I can leave them both? I don't see why not. I mean, you could leave one, it's just. Yeah. So as you can see, Earl is doing great after his surgery, and if you didn't get a chance to see his surgery, because everybody loves seeing butt surgeries, I'll put a link to it. Yes, definitely, definitely. Back up. Yeah, I'll take him. Let's go, Earl. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Jim Gordon would be impressed. Back up. Hey, you want some water? A little gassy today. Okay, two girls. Thirsty? Ow. Turn in the way. All right, sounds good. Earl can have all the water he wants. Yeah. Oh, another thing Dad said is that we can practice kind of leaning on, leaning oh. on Duke. Oh yeah. So we really smell like horse tonight. Oh my goodness. Ah, stop. Okay, we're going. Did you get all you want, Duke? We are out of here. All right. So they can go all the way over there too to get some grass tonight. <laughs> Hello? 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 Are you running after me? Okay, bye. Don't have any. Okay. That is what I call success. All three teams in their rightful path. Out for the night. Enjoy. We'll see you tomorrow. So it's the next morning and um, we are here to let the horses in and feed them. It's basically the same exact thing that we did last night. The only thing different is that we're also giving them minerals this morning. Yeah, and since it's basically the same, we figured we'd take the time while we're doing it to tell you a little bit about, about mom and dad's wedding since it's their anniversary. Of course, 
we weren't there, but just everything we've heard about it. So let's get them in. They're obviously ready to go. Good. So in the morning, the horses get some minerals along with their grain, and we just put it on the grain. It looks like this. Tasty. So we got all the horses brought in. We're about to go in and raid mom and dad's kitchen for breakfast while they eat. But first, we wanted to tell you a little bit about what we don't remember because we weren't there, but what we've heard about mom and dad's wedding. So apparently, um, as the story goes, um, obviously mom and dad had draft horses in their wedding, of course, dad would never not. Right. Um, <laughs> so they were brought away after they were married, just married with a shiny little story with a fringe on the top, um, with two draft horses, Rowdy, Rowdy and, and Andy. Andy, the legendary Rowdy and Andy, um, two studs, studs. yes, <laughs> that, um, <laughs> Dad just loved, and he brought them up to New York when they moved here, along with like 12, 12 other horses, other horses or something which like that. doesn't make Crazy. sense because I think there were 13 in all, but whatever. I was gonna say 14. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. We we'll weren't there. To ask him later. Also. But anyway, the um, wedding. The wedding. The wedding. The wedding. <laughs> it was. Um, so basically, Dad wasn't driving the Surrey. Um, it was a two-seater. So our grandfather, Grandpa, Harry, his dad, Dad's dad was yeah. driving the horses, mm -hmm. um, and. As the story goes, it was 10 minutes before the ceremony, and Dad had not, was completely not ready, had never tried on his tux. Ever. Ever. And yep. he was out getting the horses ready. Yep. And we had pictures of him with Uncle Brent, which is Mom's brother, getting the horses ready. Yep. Don't have their tuxes on. Should be ready for the wedding. But, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe Uncle Brent was ready. He had probably Wait. tried on his tux. He, He's, he probably he's had. Yes, yes. He didn't have it on at that time, though. No. We don't. We don't, we don't know. We don't know, the know the picture was taken. But we do know, from, as the story goes, about the ten minutes thing. Yes, but. which is very believable. It was probably the first tux he'd ever wore too. It's not like he knows his tux size. Right. Oh yes. Yeah. I, this is always oh, my yeah. tux size. <laughs> yeah. No. But anyway, it, it all went. It, it all, all worked went. out. Worked out. Yeah. But um. So his two mentors like two of his mentors horse mentors, horse mentors. were there with him like ken, i said uh yeah ken and ken stanley. stanley were there with him we never got to meet them um no. but right here they were fun yeah mom said they would always come visit she said that we would have loved them yes so yeah. but yeah they were there and um what else what else what else what else what have we heard well, they went through a covered bridge because it was Vermont. They went yeah, through the covered, covered bridge on everywhere. the Surrey. Um, and Shiny little Surrey with a fringe on the top. Yeah. And I, um, I don't really have anything else to say. I wasn't there. Yeah, we weren't there. We don't know. <laughs> but, but we do know that their still anniversary married. is yep. the 31st of May. And they have been married for, we don't know how many years. It's 30 something. 30 something. And these people are like, hi. Oh, it's Ben and Mary. They're just talking to the camera. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> That's Ben, who uh, dad is sharing the, what was it, Harrow's with? Oh, yeah. The Amish guy who lived oh, with right, us right, right. for, for mm -hmm. a little while. So he probably thinks we're crazy. <laughs> now he knows what's going on. But yeah, he knows all about yeah. the, the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, that's what we know about the wedding. We're glad they're still married. I feel like... Yeah, we're, we're very glad. Uh, we're thankful. We have wonderful parents, mm -hmm. as you know. Yeah, and happy birthday, Mom. We're going to go get some food and let them eat for like a, a while. I think Dad even said like a few hours. Yeah. And then we'll put them back out. All right, let's go. I'm really hungry. Same. And coffee. <laughs> if we ever seem confused, this is why. I'm going to bring them at any time and I'll put the color at home Ultron and make sure they hatch home. Come back, what it gonna do? <laughs> and I then I go back outside. So you have to water them first. Water the colts with the halters on the cob and lead them into the cow barnyard and shut the small gate. Plus, and the next day too, I was in the potty in the barnyard. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, so much half a bale. I know if I clean at all, I'll be more than that on Saturday. Farmer satires.